Oh my gosh, online classes are starting soon. We're having online classes, which means school starting soon. Mm, yeah, I know. I got the letter in my brain with that too. Online classes sound exciting. Exciting? Online classes are going to be so boring. Trust me, it's going to be such a waste of time. We're not going to make any progress. And we have to sit in front of our laptops for like more than four hours. And besides, it's going to be such a waste of time. We could be doing all those fun things like uh, playing games and watching TV. And now we're just stuck with online classes. Calm down, you haven't even tried it yet. How are you so sure it's going to be bad? Well, I don't really know. It's just that we have to work and study in the comfort of our homes. Put the COVID-19 pandemic aside. It's only May. School isn't even supposed to start yet, and now we're having online classes. That's the whole point. There's a whole pandemic happening outside, so we can't go to school like we used to and learn normally. So the only solution for our school is to make us have online classes so we don't miss anything. It's not that bad at all, okay? Don't have a fixed mindset. Uh, a what mindset? You know, fixed mindset, growth mindset. No? Well, I'll explain. There are two different types of mindsets that exist on a continuum. The first is a fixed mindset, which suggests that your abilities are unchangeable. People with fixed mindset tend to view critical feedback in a negative way and would likely to choose easier tasks and put minimal effort into them. Failure is permanent to them. They also tend to easily give up when they face an obstacle, which means they aren't willing to accept any challenges and risks. Hey, that's not fully true. I do like some challenges. Well, if you want to prove that you have a growth mindset, you can start changing your perspective on new things you haven't tried before, like the online classes. A growth mindset views it as something you can improve through. Practice, failure is something you learn from and improve, and view critical feedback as a chance to improve. People with growth mindset enjoy trying new things, challenging themselves, and working hard to become advanced. They deal with obstacles by viewing them as chances to experiment and solve problems. Keeping an open mind and being optimistic is also part of having a growth mindset. Oh, that's one good way to deal with problems and challenges. I know, Roy. Many people like doctors are working super hard to save the lives of infected people and are a huge risk themselves in getting infected by the COVID-19. We're really lucky enough to get to stay home. We should at least have a growth mindset and do our best with what we're given. Wow, I never actually thought of it that way. Having a growth mindset really is important. When I first received the information letter from school about the online classes starting, I was really doubtful about it working out and only thought of the drawbacks. But when the online classes actually started, I realized that my prediction before was actually wrong. Even though they are quite different experiences, I still received the same great amount of knowledge. I still got to participate in fun activities and new programs. Even though there's no real physical interaction, I still got to communicate with my teachers and friends. It's just really physical distancing, but not social distancing. After a few weeks of online classes, I decided that it wasn't a bad idea at all. Having a growth mindset is really important when taking new steps forward.